Good evening and welcome to our Lenten Reflection on this Monday the 12th of December 2022 and tonight's reflection is led by David Penton so thank you David. Tonight's reflection is from St Matthew's Gospel chapter 21 beginning at the 23rd verse. When he entered the temple the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. I love this passage because it shows Jesus outwitting the chief priests and elders for their narrow-minded views. They regarded themselves as the sole authority for instructing the crowd on spiritual matters. Who was this young upstart who was encroaching upon their sphere of influence? Their questioning was designed to expose Jesus as a fraud. But Jesus posed a question of which any defending barrister in court would be proud. It left them with no choice but to back off. It was checkmate to Jesus. What had upset the chief priests and elders? We read earlier in this chapter of the large crowds gathering in Jerusalem when Jesus entered. He overturned the tables of the money changers in the temple. The blind and lame were cured, and the fig tree immediately withered following Jesus' command. This man's miracles and popularity had to be stopped. But in answer to their question, Jesus replied with one of his own, which left them with an unacceptable choice. Do they believe the baptism of John came from heaven, or was it of human origin? Either their answers denied the existence of God, or they incurred the wrath of the crowd who regarded John the Baptist as a prophet. What lessons can we learn from this passage? The chief priests and elders were regarded as people in authority. It's interesting to see how Jesus responded to their loaded questions. He didn't lambast them with vitriol or abuse, which are today's common responses on social media to people with opposing views. The Christian obligation is to respect those in authority, even though we hold differing views. The Bible says Christians should honour, respect, pray for and obey authorities in position of government. In Romans 13 verse 1, the Apostle Paul who would also be martyred by decree of the Roman Caesar, said every Christian must submit to and pray for governing authorities. This can be challenging for all of us, especially during a heated political season like the one we're in now. And yet the season we are in presents Christians with a unique opportunity to adopt a calmer, more reasoned approach than a typical partisan spin and vitriol. The casualties for banning or disregarding healthy debate are truth, fairness and compassion. Let us put aside prejudices and keep an open mind on our beliefs to make sure they fully accord with Christ's teachings. Amen. Amen. And thank you, David, for your wise words this evening and for your Advent reflection. 
that concludes our reflection for tonight. Please do join us if you can for tomorrow night again at six. Good night and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.